Hello everyone! It has been such a long time since I've updated you on what all is in my collection, so I figured why not just go ahead and give you guys a collection tour. So I'm going to be breaking down my collection tour into multiple parts based off of uh, different divisions like OF Briar, um, mini, custom, artist resin, medallions, so that way I can go into depth with a lot of the horses. I know that you can see some of my stablemate collection that I have here, but we're gonna save that for a later date and just focus on OF and CM Briar today. So we are gonna start with this top shelf first. Now, most of these models have sentimental value and that's why they're just sort of hanging out up on top. I have Hickstead, a class act who's vintage and I usually show her for collectability. Splash of Violet, my little Indian pony. Truly unsurpassed, this is Autumn, and then Painted Perfection, also known as Treasured Move, the Chestnut Treasure Hunt Mare with the long tail version. I have my Smart Chick Alinas, got uh, the original Smart Chick Alina and Sierra Blanco, my first ever traditional Briar. Um, I named him Buckaroo, but I can't remember. I think it's Montana Harvest, that was his name. I have Karanosa with her original hang tag. The original Secession in the Fire. We have Milton for Go. Fleet Alex, the Occultic. He doesn't have a name yet, so I just refer to him as the Teak. I got my Smarty Jones, so I have Wind Talker, the original Smarty Jones, and Secretariat. I have Rugged Painted Lark, also known as Pecos. My Impress Me Shannon. I have the new Premier Club Altenai. And right next to them, I have my two little strapless mares, Barbaro, Ruffian, and American Pharaoh. The next shelf down, I have my Show Jumping Warm Bloods. Over here, I have Cedric, and this is the World Equestrian Games version, not the regular run version. And he currently has on one of my tack sets, which I'll be sure to have on properly and highlight in one of my later videos. Mon Gammon and the new Briarfest 2020 special run, or not special run, um, he was the celebration horse, Reggie. Got my two bluegrass bandits, my original bluegrass bandit, who I bought back in 2008 once she was released. Stella, the tractor supply special. And then I have my True North molds. I have Catch Me, I have Ichabod, and the original True North. Down one more shelf, I have my Celtic Selenieros. I have my Razzling, who I named Murado, Celtic Selenero, the original. Right next to them, I have my custom Gigi Valentine, Fox Valley Oliver. And then behind him, I have Dolce de Leche, who I named Peachy Keen. He was a tour model from like 2007, I believe. I have Strike a Pose, also known as Betcher Blue Boons. Dundee, who also has on a Western roping set, which I'll highlight in my tack video. I have my two American saddlebreds, Harmony and Duke, down below. I have my Cleveland Bays. I have Black Warrior, my Limerick from Briarfest 2008, my very first Briarfest. Pet Shop Eyes, um, also known as Trooper. The original Cleveland Bay, and I hope you can see how dusty these guys are. I haven't taken them to a show in forever. I also have my Shenandoah, and this is the plated main version. His name is Bart. Then I have my custom Shenandoah, and this is Durin. He has all of his ribbons that are sitting there. I haven't gotten a place to put those yet. And then I have my Wixom. Down below, I have my Caliente, who won me a uh, prize model back at Briarfest, I believe it was 2010, perhaps, and got me a glossy um, O'Leary, who I've since sold. And then Squeak, who won me a glossy Brunello back at Briarfest 2018. Uh, right next door, I have my custom Harley. Um, his name is Buns and Guns. 
and he is a buttermilk buckskin painted by Sue Kern or Sicorius Customs and he's my little hunter pony so um He's got his rider and his tack on. He also has a custom peg, so he's like lifted up so he doesn't look so heavy on the front end. I have my original Alborozo. I have Battle Cry, my Nakoda, Hamilton, and I have my Bristol. And this Bristol is actually signed by my friend Morgan. I will pull him out. There we go, there's a signature up underneath there but I had named him Oh the Calamity. He caused quite the stir whenever he was released in the hobby. Down below, I have my Christmas horses and my classics, so quite a few vintages. And saving the best for last, I have my Idicus Conga. We have Snowman, Valiant, who's a J-A-H connoisseur, both version of Bo, got the braided and loose mane version. Buttercream, three Brunellos. We have the loose mane, the regular run braided mane, and then the glossy braided mane that that little gray pony won me at Briarfest. Down here, we have my original Idicus. We have uh, an Idicus that is missing chestnuts on one side and my original Idicus, my glossy Idicus, Wapiti, Ravel, glossy Ravel, and then I have a custom by Stephanie Michaud. Now this guy's name is Ansel Adams, and he actually has a neat story behind him. So back when I uh, first started being a YouTuber and collecting model horses and painting model horses seriously. I found this guy's picture on the internet whenever he was completed back in, I think 2008. And I just had pictures of all these horses that I wish I could own one day that I probably never would. You know, all of those beautiful resins that Carol Williams sculpted and painted. And uh, he was one that I wish that I could have owned one day. And um, it's crazy to think that I finally own him now. So um, it's just crazy to think. Um, so here's a little overview, my pride and joys. I am currently looking for a Nirvana from that Briar event that happened uh, within the past year, is the Black Appaloosa. So if anybody has one that they would be willing to part with for a reasonable price, uh, just let me know. Um, but anyways, that is my entire custom and OF Briar traditional collection. I hope that you enjoyed seeing all the ponies that I've collected over the years and now know what my collection looks like after all this time. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!